You guys, wedding season is about to start. And while I know it's stressful for the bride and groom, it can also be really stressful for you as a guest. Especially when your ex was invited and you're sitting at the same table. That's why this is a very special episode of Domestic Partners called How to Deal. Word. Hey guys, welcome to Domestic Partners. We're Gabby and Aida. You can check us out on Instagram from our links above. Or you can subscribe below so that you don't miss one episode of Domestic Partners. No, God forbid. We're talking about food, drink, and everything domestic. Plus, we're sweating the small stuff. And in this case, the small stuff is your ex showing up at a wedding that you're invited to. It just makes me ever clump just talking about it. So I'm over here. We rounded out five tips and tricks on how you can get through this really awkward situation. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number one is you always have to look better than your ex. This is the most important point. Mm -hmm. No skimping. You have to primp and preen and tone it and tan it and get the makeup done and borrow a good dress from your girlfriend. And if you need pointers on how to do that excellent, then go ahead and check out our how to prepare for bikini season video. Because it's basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. Number two is that once you're looking HOT, bring a date that is equally HOT. You want to stalk your ex on Instagram and Facebook, see if you know he's gotten punchy or a little bit of a beer belly, and then bring somebody who's the opposite, the Adonis of all men. Doesn't matter what he sounds like, just that he looks really good. Number three, have something to brag about. Nothing crazy, outlandish, you know, something that he can actually believe and just be green with envy. Yeah, something that's, you know, still makes you seem graceful and gracious, like that your dog won best in show. Because if that doesn't make him green with envy, what will? What, 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 no, what, nothing. What will? Number four is to make sure you have some liquid courage. Now, there is some restraint here. You don't drink too much that you're sloppy. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> this week is brought to you by this right here, an adult lemonade made with a little bit of lile, gin, lemon juice, a little sweetener, and some club soda. Something you can drink all night long without risking embarrassing yourself. Because at the end of the day, we need to keep it classy, ladies. Fingers out. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, if all else fails, break out the dance moves. I mean, if you need any kind of help with that, go ahead and check out our Dancing Like Beyonce video because clearly we know what's up. We're such good dancers. Can't even deal. This week's food for thought, here it goes. I don't have X's, I have Y's. Like, why did I ever date you? And that's it for this week's episode of Domestic Partners Special Edition, How to Deal. And if you want more advice on other things and how to deal, well, just let us know and we'll make sure it's a future episode of Domestic Partners. See you next week.